everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, as I promised, I'm gonna make the review of the lens that I used to photograph the Milky Way. Finally, you've been asking about it and now I'm gonna deliver. And this lens now will battle the cheapo version and also the native camera, wide-angle camera of the LG G5. Let's do this. Well then, let's start by unboxing this baby. This lens it's called a Pexel. So, one of the thing that you can see it's this lens it's massive. Really big and it has a polarized filter that that's actually really nice. And there is a helicopter. It's quite of an expensive one. So, I'm going to compare it with this Chipo Mpau three in one so it comes with three lenses a macro a wide angle and a fisheye so a fisheye it's not a wide angle lens some some persons on the comment said why you are using a fisheye no it's a wide angle lens it's different google it Okay, one thing that I am noticing, it's this spring over here, on this lens, it's really annoying, because it's oh, it's annoying to put on the, on the cell phone. You have two hands, one to hold the phone, and the other one to try to put it there. So you kind of put your fingers like in an awkward position to lock it down. This is really stupid, and this kind of spring, it just goes in place. Puff. Awesome. This also protects the back end of the lens. Really nice. With a smartphone cover, I can't use this lens, so I have to remove the cover of my cell phone, the protection of my cell phone. Mm, that's not really good. Using the wide angle on your phone, it's way much easier. In the push of a button, you have the wide angle. It's way easier. And they are getting better and better, so you have to wonder if you really need to buy something like this to have better wide-angle images. <laughs> Why you want to eat my... Oh, disgusting! Just wait a bit, I'm gonna switch lenses. Well everyone, now I'm going back home, plug all the photos on my computer and check out the quality of them. Of course, the raw pictures will be available to download on my website and you can check the quality of them yourself. Well everyone, here we are in the computer checking out the photos. So, I did color correct these photos. For the whole three of them, they have exactly the same white balance. So, we can compare a little bit the color also. As you can see, the Epixel has a narrow wide angle. The other one, the Mpau, it's almost like a fisheye. It's not a fisheye. For the amount of the distortion, it almost looks like a fisheye. So let's zoom in and see the quality of this. Not bad. The Mpau have a bit of chromatic aberration, but not too much comparing with the way more expensive Apexel. Even at the background, we can see that the Apexel have more chromatic aberration. Ah, quite a lot more. Let's check out the vignetting. So both of them have a little bit, but clearly the um, Apexel have a little bit less. Let's compare it with the LG native one. And remember, this is a 8 megapixel sensor, and the other one was in the 16 megapixel sensor. So that's why we can zoom a little bit more on the um, Apexel. So that was really impressive. As you can see, the flare on the LG, it's way better. I'm really impressed with the high quality of the LG G5 wide angle. Nicely done. 
As you can see, the Epexel in the destruction it's way better than, than the cheaper lens. Okay, so I have a little bit of um, vignetting here, but, but I think this vignetting is caused by a misplacement of the lens. So that's another problem you have to see with this kind of lenses. Let's compare it then with the original from the LG. I'm gonna be honest, the LG has a wider angle and the sharpness, even on this picture, it's enormous. As you can see, it's a really good sharp image compared with the other two lenses. And honestly, the, the distortion, it's pretty damn good for a standard lens that comes with your, with your smartphone. Usually, wide-angle lens are even sharper in the center than in the corners, as we can see here. In the corners, they suffer a little bit, but in the center, they should be really sharp. So, let's check out the photo of the rows to be sure of that. So, the focus is really near here, as you can see, and... Uh, wow! Uh, for uh, 50 euros lens compared for a 10 euros lens well then I'm pow that's not bad at all but still the a pixel is sharper so let's check out the blurry background as you can see I honestly prefer a pixel this is not normal so in here that at this zone it's a little bit blurry and then it gets sharper it's a little bit awkward this this area here uh, and the same reflects in here so we are a little bit blur here a bit of lens blur then it gets a little bit sharper and then gets a bit blurry again on the empow that is not a really normal uh, blurry <laughs> image <laughs> In the LG G5, we lose a bit of the blurry background. We have a way sharper image. It's quite impressive, but um, I prefer the autofocus image of the Apexel. But um, the LG G5 have a really wide depth of field. So, the images are available on my website to download if you want to check the photos by yourself. And this is the end of the video, so I'm really really happy to see that a lot of people are subscribing to my channel, so we are around 1200 and some subscribers, that is mind-boggling. Thank you very much to trust me, I try to answer all the comments, of course, and um, drop a like if you learned something. If you have any questions, leave it down below. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. And until next time, I am Miguel. See ya.